I'm going to demonstrate how to use the plumb pump. I'm going to go through priming the IV one time really quick because it's a little bit more difficult than the Alaris. So you're going to pull the plug out of the IV fluid. You do not want to touch the part there that you're going to spike. Also, you don't want to touch this part. So you're going to spike the bag. Now when you spike the bag, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to prime all by itself. So you can go ahead and spike it and hang it up. And you see nothing's dripping yet. So we'll kind of get it stationary here because we're going to need our hands. And we're going to squeeze the chamber to get it halfway full. In this plumb tubing, you have to prime upside down. So as you see, this is right side up. And this is going to be upside down. And what you do is you have to pull the white thing out in the back here. When you pull it out, the fluid is going to start to fill up. And as soon as it starts to spill over into the little circle, you flip it. And I know it sounds kind of complicated, but it's not. The further you pull this out, the faster the fluid will go. So if you just want to pull it out a little bit, it'll give you a chance to watch it. You've got to keep your eye on this. So we'll pull it out kind of slowly. And it's already spilling. I'm going to flip. Okay. As soon as you flip it, it's going to prime the rest of the way. And at this point, you could either wait and you could push the white cap back in to make the fluid stop, or you could go ahead and slide it in the pump and just close the pump to make the fluid stop. So this is a little hand grip, so it should show you that you can hold here to slide it into the pump. And then I'm going to wait to the fluid to get to the end here. Get a little pop. Bubbles come to the top and it is primed all the way and I'm going to close it, maybe. All right. This has a cap on the end of it, so I can just set it up here if I'd like to. It's not gonna touch anything. Okay, so it's asking for the rate and it's the rate of the primary. It, it tells you exactly what to do if you'll just follow the directions. It says press up or down and enter. So I'm gonna press up after I've checked my orders and we'll say we'll put it 100 cc's an hour. So I'm going to go up to 100. It will move fast. It will move slow. Don't worry about it if you go over. 100 and then enter. And then it says dose limit. Dose limit means how much is in the bag. What, what do you want to set the pump for? What's the limit of the volume you want to set the pump for? So just like the Alaris, I'm going to set it for 900 because that's when the pump is going to beep at me and let me know it's about to be finished. So if I have a bag that has 1,000 cc's in it and I set it for 900, then at 900 it's going to beep. And that way, the whole tubing won't run dry before I have a chance to get another bag. So 900 and enter. And this is asking me here to set secondary. And I'm going to say no right now because I'm not going to set a secondary. So no, I'm not going to set a secondary. And then your primary is complete. So of course, you would wipe off, uh, flush your patient's IV, wipe it off with alcohol, flush it. Then you will uh, take off the plastic in and you will screw this into the patient and press start. And this is what it looks like when it's running. Got the little thing going down here. Okay, so at this point, let's say we needed to set a secondary, and this will be bad if this top's not off of it. So, just gonna burn. all right. So this is, let's say this is running 100 cc's an hour, and I decide I need to set a secondary um, or IV piggyback. I'm gonna use this one over here. So you've spiked and you've primed your secondary by using the roller clamp and all the bubbles are out of it and you can hang it up here. <clears throat> the difference between the plum and the Alaris is it does not matter the height of the bags on the plum pump. So here we've decided we're going to set a secondary. So all we need to do is we need to hit reset and it asks, it says it's in reset, you either want to press start or review change. We want to review change. So I'm going to hit review change. And it says press yes to change setting or press review. Yes, I want to change the setting. Change primary rate or dose. No, I don't want to change the primary. I'm going to let it run. So as opposed to the Alaris, the primaries run at the same time as the secondaries. Whereas on the Alaris, the primary is cut off. It runs the secondary and then the primary picks back up again. So change primary rate or dose. No, I'm going to let the primary run its by itself. Set secondary. Yes, I'm going to set secondary. Concurrent delivery means at the same time. So you could, yes, either run it at the same time or no, don't let the uh, secondary run in and let the primary kick back in. Usually people run it at the same time. So I'm going to say yes, they can run at the same time. 
and then it asks for the rate. So uh, I'm going to say there's, let's say there's 50 cc's in this secondary bag. It needs to go over an hour. So I'm going to set it at 50 cc's. and hit enter. Secondary dose limit means how much is in the bag and there's 50 mLs in the bag. You will see some nurses set it for 45 because they don't want to get air in the line um, but usually just for an antibiotic the pump beeps if, if air gets in the cartridge so uh, I just would rather them get all of their medicine so I usually just set it for 50. Um, enter. Call back at secondary dose in. That means do you want it to beep at you when the secondary is finished. Um, unless you have something that you need to hang right behind it, you don't necessarily need it to beep at you. If you're on a hallway running around with nine patients, you may not want your pump at the end of the hallway just beeping unnecessarily. So we'll say, no, you don't need to let me know when it's done. I don't need to hang anything right after it. No. Deliver secondary overfill means, do you want it to continue running after 50 cc is already infused? No, you do not. Um, that's only necessary sometimes if a patient has uh, something going that, let's say that they need to hold their blood pressure up or they need to maintain their blood pressure. Well, you want to set it for a dose limit of 50 so that when 50 cc's goes in, it starts to beep at you that it's almost done, but it won't quit. It will continue to infuse. So at 50 cc's, you can run in and say, my bag's almost empty, um, and run get a new one before it runs out so your patient's blood pressure won't be affected. So at this point, you would get your little alcohol pad, wipe off this cap here. This is the port closest to the bag on the plumb pump, and it's actually in the pump. So you'd wipe it off. You're going to take the cap that was on this off. You're going to screw it in here. You're going to open your roller clamp, and then you're going to hit start. And you should see the rate of 100. That's the primary the rate of 50, that's the secondary, infusing together. So, of course, the rate here is 150. That's it.